The next week, it was Auburn, the must game for Coach Bill Battle and the Volunteers. Auburn had beaten Tennessee three straight years. Was there a jinx? Could the ball stop the streak? A capacity crowd at Shields Watkins Field came to see the game. It started early. Auburn fumbles on the first play from scrimmage, and linebacker Hank Walter, a junior from Knoxville, recovers at the Tiger 23. Holloway carries to the Auburn 13, where the tough Tiger defense holds. And ball specialist Ricky Townsend from Dalton, Georgia, kicks a 30-yard field goal. Again, Tennessee has scored on its first possession. An Eddie Brown interception has given Tennessee the ball at the Plainsman 42 in the second quarter. And it's Standback with a 13-yard run to the Auburn 29. Holloway connects with senior flanker Chip Howard on this 10-yard pass. In the scoring drive, Tennessee twice goes for first down on fourth down, making both. The touchdown comes on this seven-yard pass to Love, the senior from Oak Ridge, and Tennessee takes a 10-0 lead into the dressing room at halftime. In the second half, the rains come. Rain, monsoon. Auburn falls further behind, trailing 13-0 as the Tigers go to the air in the fourth quarter. Big play. Hank Walter intercepts this errant aerial and splashes 38 yards for a ball touchdown. As the torrential downpour continues, Tennessee's Neil Claybo, one of the nation's leading punters, twice punts on first down, this one covering 71 yards, as Tennessee wins the must game, 21 to nothing over Auburn. The annual...